In this video, I'm going to introduce you to what comes inside the box of the Garmin Vehicle Mounting Kit, which is made for the Garmin handhelds that have the Garmin Backbone on them. So the Garmin Backbone is what you'll find on the back of the Dakotas, also on the back of the Oregons, the e 10, 20, and 30 have this backbone to them and also the GPS map 62 series just to name a few. Be sure that your unit has this style of backbone on it so that it works with this mount before ordering. So let's take a look at what comes inside the box. In the box we have the power cable. Power cable is pretty straightforward it's a cigarette lighter cable and it's got a mini USB end which plugs into your device and each device it's going to plug into a different area of the device on the Oregons and the Dakotas it's on the bottom of the unit on the E-Trex it's at the top on the back and same with the GPS map 62 series if for some reason your cables not working not powering up your unit Check this light right here. If this light is not on, you're going to want to check the fuse in this cable, which is accessible through the tip. You'll also want to check the fuse in your vehicle that controls the cigarette lighter port to make sure it is good also. The mount is made up of two parts, the suction cup and then the holder that goes to the backbone of the Garmin handheld. The suction cup is a really good one. It pivots right here, so it really allows you to get it in the right viewing angle. Then we have this lever right here. This lever is to create a better suction with the windshield. One thing to note, this suction cup works best on a pretty much a perfectly smooth surface such as a windshield or uh, really nice smooth fiberglass. If you want to go to your dash or something, Garmin includes a special adapter in this kit which we'll look at next. But before we look at that, the holder for your GPS has a socket on the back and then we have a ball on the suction cup. Just put them together, give it a good push and you'll hear them snap. And then your GPS unit going to start with the bottom at the top of the holder and we're going to just slide it down and it's going to click too when it's in place. If you don't properly clip it in place it could fall off this backbone mount. And to get it off there's a little tab right here. You're going to pull this back and then slide the unit up the opposite direction you put it in the cradle. Like so. The last part that you find in the box is this dash disc. This is so you could suction cup to your dash because your dash isn't going to be perfectly smooth like your windshield. It's just a plastic plate. You just peel off this white paper and then it exposes the glue and you just put it on your dash where you want it to mount. Of course, you're going to need to clean your dash first. Use some rubbing alcohol and make sure that you get any type of residue from Armor All or any type of dash conditioner off because this will not stick as well to it. So once everything's cleaned off your dash, it'll stick well. And then we can take our suction cup, suction it to this dash disc, and away we go. We're ready to navigate with our handheld. That was a quick look at the Garmin Vehicle Mounting Kit for the Garmin Handhelds, part number 010-10851-10. This part is available through GPS City on the accessory pages of compatible handhelds.